Hey everybody, welcome back. Replacing a broken knob or hand wheel on a scuba tank is a very simple task as long as you take a couple things into consideration before you get started. For example, the valve on this tank is a Genesis valve. Genesis, for a short period of time, used proprietary uh, technology and sizing for their knobs on their scuba tanks. So this standard hand wheel or knob that you could typically replace with that metal insert, as you can see there it's got the hole there in the middle, the square hole though, that standard size will not fit a Genesis valve. Genesis valves are slightly larger on the inside and this proprietary sizing also led Genesis to use a very cheap plastic insert as you can see in there for their, their valve knobs. So you cannot use this one with this quality metal insert. You will have to scour the internet to find one of these Genesis compatible knobs that are almost obsolete at this point. Um, They've discontinued this particular sizing on this valve, so these knobs are getting harder and harder to find. But just wanted to throw that out there before we get started. Let's go ahead and get this knob replaced. At this point you should be able to see this plastic piece here, and this is what has broken. That plastic piece is what's inside of that knob there, the black part of that knob. Okay, first thing, very simple. We're just going to undo that little nut there. That's a locking nut or a nylon nut as the case may be. I'm going to go ahead and use a 10 millimeter socket just to get it started. And then it comes off fairly easily by hand. After that's removed, you can pull off the old broken plastic insert there. Once you have this small broken plastic piece removed, you'll see that this slides here slightly. Just make sure it's pulled out so that you can get uh, your new knob seated on there correctly. Then you take the new knob. You'll see that it's got directions on the outside of it. Very simple. Open and close. Just make sure that that's facing out and that that is facing towards the inside of the valve. So you just slide that on there just like that and it'll, it'll sit on there loosely. You're then going to run a, want to replace your nylon nut. Very easy. I slip mine inside the socket that I'm working with. And then simply feed it on until it gets tight. And then just give it a slight extra torque, tighten it up. Again, that's a nylon nut, so you shouldn't have any problem with that seating correctly. And then that'll be in there. You can see it down in there. And then now when we turn our valve, you'll hear that we got a little bit of air come out. That's all we wanted to do, just to show, go ahead and show that the valve is actually working. And that's it. That's all there is to replacing a hand wheel or knob on a scuba tank. But again, just remember that if you have a Genesis valve, that you buy the right style knob. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.